Okay, this video is going to be about deciding where I want the results of my Google form to go and how to send it to people and share the form so I can send it out and get my results. So the sports survey was the one that I was working on. So I'm just going to click into that. Okay, but I don't have a place for the responses to go because I have not chosen a response destination yet. Okay, so I'm going to choose a response destination, and I always pick a new spreadsheet. Uh, Google Forms and used to look be all one document, and it was a little confusing to navigate around. I like this better because I create a new spreadsheet. I could even send everything into an existing spreadsheet, but I'm always going to create, and nothing happens. But if I go back to my drive. I can see that the responses have been created and that is right now an empty spreadsheet okay but it shows the questions and it will show the timestamp again I showed you here uh, a class survey with responses already done I didn't want to take the time during the video to do that that's what it would look like again with real-time results so let me go back to either my sports survey or the class survey they're both the same I'm going to go back there, okay, and I can take a look at the live form again, and it will open up a tab and show me what the people will see when they click the link, okay. I can click edit this form to go back and edit it. I can choose whether it's accepting responses or not right here, okay. can also change the theme right there. I'm going to say, oh, not accepting responses if I click that. So you can choose not to accept it if you're leaving that, that link out there online, but I'm going to pick it to accepting responses. Okay, and then viewing responses now is the option here because I've picked a spreadsheet for it to go. I can tell here that I have four responses. There's lots of different tools up here if you want to get into um, in terms of collecting your data. Let's talk about sending the form. Okay, right down at the bottom is send form. The double click that and I get these options right here. Okay. So I can send the form directly via email. Okay. And you could customize the message and subject that goes with it, okay? But it does do some default stuff I will show you. There is this thing here to include the form in the email, and sometimes I do that, and sometimes I don't, and I'll show you why. If you just click Send, <clears throat> it'll send it. I am going to go to my email right now. I'm going to go to my email and show you what that looks like once it's sent. Once you enter email addresses in there, and you can enter multiple ones, this is my class survey here. When I click into that email, this is what it looks like. It's an automatic default text that goes with it, and this is the link that will take them right to the form. Sometimes you choose not to put it in the email because they might have to download pictures, or sometimes it doesn't work right uh, that way. I usually don't include the form in the email. I usually just choose to just send them the link. Okay, and that's what it looks like. They could click it and it will take them right to the form. This is what you're going to have to do for me for the project is send and email me a link to a Google form. Let me go back to my Google form here. And again, you can add multiple email addresses. Here is that actual link that it does send. And it'll say maybe um, press Control C or Command C to copy. If I choose not to do it automatically, I can just copy that link and put it into a new email, an email message, and just paste the link into there, and it will work just fine. Okay? So that's all you're going to have to do for me. in terms of the course is just send me make a form and send me uh, uh, the link to it and I will answer your form for you is how I'm gonna do that you can add collaborators to it if you want somebody to work on building a form with you okay you're inviting other editors to the form when you do that 
And I will talk in another video about embedding the form. That's the embed code that you can put it into a website uh, or an online course.